So, Jim, you may recall that this machine has been out of service for a long time, and I've decided to bring it back into service. Now, I've never run a jig grinder in my life, and I don't want to bother the guys that are running them because they've got work to do. So, besides, one of us kind of crotchety, so we'll just go figure it out yourself. Well, okay, guy, so I just did, I think, for the most part. So, I am going to go through the routine of what and how this jig grinder works, and it's pretty cool. So, hey, Dan, what is this? Periscope? Hey, bud. How you doing? All right, man. I feel like we're on a, a submarine here. What's going on? What's all this for? This is called the jig grinder. A jig grinder? Jigsaw puzzles? What do you make no, with it? Yeah, jig jigsaw dance, puzzles. like dancing, yeah, yeah. Irish dancing? Irish dancing, or maybe a, parrot's, a, a pirate's dance. You know, they do the jig too. Yeah, jigwats. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is. Like, what's this? What, what's going on? I mean, like. Well, this... let me start over here first of all, because sure. this is kind of the cool part. Sure. Okay. Up periscope! Oh, this oh, yeah, is yep. down, down, <laughs> dive, dive! Where do you see out? Where do you okay, see out? Right. <laughs> Temperature of the water. Is okay. Yep. And this so, is so you wanna know what that is? Sure, yeah. Turn it. What's it doing? Nothing. That's the idea. Don't do anything until you engage it. Let me show you what that's about. Alright. So you got this lever here that you pull and then you pull that out, and now I can rotate this head. That's left, right, turn the boat? That's it. Turn the ship? Turn the ship. It's not what, a boat. What do you got here? Why is this in the way? That, my friend, is a beam that comes down from, <laughs> from the sky and it transmits through that shaft and it goes in here. Anyway, it lights up the area. That's what that's for. All right. It's pretty yeah. cool. Now, what are we working on here? I mean, it's a lot of, it's a big ass machine to be doing what, this part? That's what it does. It's, it's very, very precision. And so it, we're gonna we're gonna grind this little part right here. Okay. And we've got to hold the distance from the back face here to the center line Almost of this hole. Almost looks like you're making rings. Yeah. Well, it kind yeah. of kind of are. We kind of are doing that anyway. All right. So now this right here, I don't I don't get it. How is this involved over here? That's... Well, you touch that, you die. You die. <laughs> it sounds like a jet. <laughs> I thought this was a submarine. <laughs> Oh, die, die. Right. So that's a, that's our gauge. Right. To check the hole. It's called a bore gauge. We got any micrometers here? I, as a matter of fact, there's a micrometer right here. Oh, so that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Or micrometer. By the way, I'm taller than you. How'd that happen? <laughs> I'm up in the world. You get to be the good. Okay, so this, no. this, is, this, this handle moves this axis back and forth. Okay, she shakes it left and right. And that one, this one moves that one in and out, and it's connected to the readout, so we know what we're doing when we move what, it. Well, what are these for? I mean, what these are these are jig studs. Yeah, and this. Jig clamps. Jig clamps. Jig bolts. Jig bolts. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell that is. Don't I don't know. <laughs> they don't know where I'm going. Now, so this, what, Bajur, what's this Bajur? Bajur, that's made in Bajur, China. Bajur, China, I thought it was made BJ. <laughs> Sorry, break time now. So, uh, how's family? Doing good. Kids good? The kids are good. Got, got a new cat. Got a new, new kitten. Cat. All right. Yep. I love it. Yep. Yeah. Found it. What do you call it? Cupcake. Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> White? Banana? Uh, chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. cupcake. <laughs> That's funny because after I got her, I found a wine called Cupcake. That's cool. <laughs> so, uh, that turns that on. Well, you didn't explain what this does. Oh, that's an oiler. Oiler? A really big. Uh, How's it work? You pull the handle out and it sends oil through all these oh, different Oh, so it's horses. like a, a hand pump? Yeah. You pull it out once, like that, and it sends the oil, squirts it out all over so it keeps everything lubricated. All right. That's what it does. Good. Start, stop, that's easy to figure out. Now, when, when it's on auto, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean, start and stop what? Start and stop this? No? No, push it. There you go. All right. Stops already here. You know really what? He easy. can run this thing already. I might as well get out of here. You know, move aside. Look at how dirty <laughs> he is, too. You know, you think he's been working. <laughs> no, I didn't work. I fell down. <laughs> so, what are these guys up here? That sets the depth and the height of the, the periscope. Stroke. Of the periscope, right. So when right. the periscope is up, that's one, and when it's down, that's one. So it tells it how far up and down it can go. So what is this for? Well, that's a it's really... It's kind of way in the back. Yeah, I mean, that raises this whole head. This whole thing oh. goes up and down. 
and there's a lock so, on the other side to lock it once you put it in position. So instead of using that, you use this little thing to stand on? That's it. Instead of raising it up and down? That's it. I can't reach it, man. I'm not tall enough. You need a six foot six guy here to run this thing. Yeah, okay. So what you want to know? Now, in front here, you got numbers. Is that how the... Now, what is that measuring? That's for the periscope. That's for the periscope. Tells you what degree you're, you're at. Heavy. <laughs> I know what this is for. Dive, dive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what's no, this? That, that, just a plug. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just there for someone to come along and pull it. <laughs> and ask what it is. Make like a chicken and pull it. Okay, so what this is for is if you were grinding something, let's say a radius. Right. And you only wanted to go from here to here. Uh, this is. This would tell you exactly where you're going and where the stop should be. So there are ways to stop this. But wait a minute, now, wait a minute. If this is going around, does it go back and forth like this? It, it, you could do that, yes. And that you do that with this handle. Okay. So you pull this but out mostly it's it a, one way. mostly it's a counterclockwise or clockwise? Right, so if you're grinding a, a circle, you would disengage this and let it grind a circle. If you're grinding a half circle, you could do it by hand by pulling this guy out and pulling this in and then I could look here and go from 100 degrees to 200 degrees let's say. And then you say. set your stops, is that the idea? I'm the stop right here. Oh, you're yeah, the stop. Okay. Right there. So we pull that back out, we can track that, now that's been disengaged. Alright, now can, <laughs> this looks like an overblown drill press. Uh, it's, yeah, it's Can you drill anything that. with this? No. You can't, no, I'll let you you drill. can't even drill a piece no, of wood. I'll let you drill. <laughs> but man, can you do some accurate stuff? I mean, when I it comes to, when it comes to precision, this is it, Jim. There's nothing more precision than this machine right here. The jig grinder is the ultimate in precision grinding. You can hold, you can split tents all day long with a good operator, which I'm not, but you could. Well, no. Maybe you could. Well, yeah, probably I could, could teach you how to do this. I recognize this is V block. That's correct. Yeah, it always looks like the Michigan logo, you know? You know why they call it a V-block? No. Because there's, there's a V in it. Because there's a V in it, but it's making a square when you connect it. No. No? Well, it does, sort of, kind of, but not really. But anyway, any other Dive. questions? <laughs> okay, so this is... This is another lubricator. It says auto-feed lubricator. Auto-feed. Now, this is auto-feed, and that's pull-on. Right. That's for the ways. That one is for the spindle. That okay. sends oil to the spindle and lubricates the bearings within the spindle. It kind of just knows when to go or? When you turn it on. When you turn it on, all right. Yeah, like I did, remember? Yeah. I turned it on over here. Here, on that jack sound. There you go. Jets. So why you got all this protector in here? I mean, because the machine is so precision. Break time break, again. Break time again. So, how'd your golf game go? <laughs> My golf game's real good. <laughs> anyway, like <laughs> so, uh, where were we? Uh, we're break. talking about this uh, oh, yeah. plastic. Because the machine is so precision, it has to be protected in every which way you can. You don't want to wear it out. And if, if, if the machine gets out of square, gets this way, you can't make moves that are accurate within a tenth or two, right. one way or another. The plastic so does all that. Get, it covers it, keeps the dirt, because this thing is oh, blowing. Oh, keeps the dirt off, remember, okay. Remember, this is air coming out right, of here. Right, right, all right. And this is grinding, and it's blowing the dust so everywhere. It's blowing, so the dust, the little tiny bit of increments of dust right. can screw and, things and up. And actually, on a serious note, this is for a vacuum, which we don't have hooked up at the time. But that, you hook this up to the vacuum. Does it and come with can, attachments? Uh, yeah, it's got, in fact, it's made by Hoover. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the old Hoover. It's a new vacuum there, but it's Dyson? Dyson? What's the name? Dyson, yeah. Dyson, that's a new one. Made by Dyson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else you want to know? Oh, that stuff? Yeah. Let me show you how cool that is. Should I run it? Should we operate it? You want yeah. to operate it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so we got that on. I'm going to, that's on. We're going to put it on. Uh, start. All hands on deck. On. All hands on deck. We're all set for auto. So I'm going to turn the spindle on. And I'm going to run the lever down. I already set this up, so. Oh, wow. Now. I put my ring on there. Well, you forgot to ask me about my watch, too. Oh, your watch? Why do I have the watch on? Huh? Oh. Why do you have a watch on? I forgot to take it off. 
Sorry about that. That's okay. I wasn't operating equipment until just now, so I'm good. So this is how you feed it in. Oh wow! How hard do you gotta how, like crank on them to put them in? I mean, like scan them. No, just just snug them in. I want to be tight enough so they don't move, but not so tight that you need to call a plumber now, to you get don't, them out. You, you don't need lubricant on this. No. Because it's, it's so small. Yeah, or? well, it's not going to get that hot. You could put lubricant on, but remember, you got air coming out of here too that's blowing on it. Oh yeah. You yeah. Feel the air. Sure. So the air's kind of working on cooling it as well. Right. The way you got this clamp over here. That's my uh, don't blow the rag away. Clamp. Why's the rag on here? See that? That's why that's there. Aren't you worried about it getting caught up in anything? No, it's a long ways away. It doesn't go wild like that. <laughs> <laughs> now this this is the pressure? No, that's actually the temperature of the spindle because again the machine is so so I don't want to call it fussy, but it's so precision. Yeah. That everything is important. What's if, well it's not a 70 now. What what's too hot? So you're trying to avoid the, the heat? I, would say, I, would, I don't know for sure, but I would say you get up around 85 or so, that's that's going to be too hot. Is it warp it? What does it do? It, it'll cause the bearings to expand, uh -huh. which is not good, and it could affect the accuracy of the machine. Okay, and we'll give you a true... So they, they want to make sure you know that the temperature is, is steady. Now this is, I notice when it bumps, this is what sets? That's, that's not even in play right now. What that is for is that if I had to come down to a hard stop, I didn't want to go down any lower than this, and yeah. I wanted to stop there and say grind a face, I would set that stop to do that. That's what that's for. Okay. So it's not even in, in the equation right now. Who makes this? It's made by Moore. They're still around. Uh, they've been around for, I don't know, probably since the 40s, I'm guessing. And uh, again, to my knowledge, there's no more precision machine made in America than this one. In fact, yeah. maybe around the world. I mean, they're still in business. They've been around forever. The machines are new, are very expensive. The newer ones now are CNC. So you can grind a hole, move over here within a tenth, and it'll come in and grind it, feed in, move over here, and it'll grind it. It's almost this as is rare a, as new machinists. Yeah, this is right. This is a manual machine. So it's doing fine. It's doing its thing. All right, now, when you set all this up, how do you know exactly where to begin in the first place? Uh, you, you know what I mean? I mean? You got this all set up now, but I wouldn't know where to put it to begin with. Well, what I did, and that's a good that's a good question. <coughs> <coughs> I'll show you what I did. I mean, it looks cool the way it's working, but I would I put it in there and yeah, 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 like a you know well, egg beater. What I did, I came in here. <laughs> with the part in place yeah and I gradually actually before I came into the part I moved the table over so it was clear of the part and I set my stops because okay. I don't want to come in here and crash into the part right that's not yeah good. that's probably what I would end up so doing. I set the stops up over here off the part brought it into mm -hmm. the part and then I hovered above the part like so right and then I turned on the auto whoops oh. Sorry, wrong one. Do you say you know what you're doing? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I turned on the oscillation. All right. Once I got So that's it, the jig. That's where the jig comes right. from. Right. And I had the spindle in the off position, and I came in and made sure that I didn't touch the part at all. And I gradually fed in up here until I touched it. When you say fed in, you mean you gradually widened its pattern? Correct. To make the hole bigger. All right. Now, there's another adjustment before you do this. This is a fine adjustment. The coarse adjustment. How do you find center? This is part of it? Yeah. There's a, another adjustment. Oh, okay. Right in through here that moves this whole spindle back and forth. Okay. So if you want to do a big hole, then you come in here and bring it out, and then you fine tune it up here. These little guys do anything? Nope. Yeah, they do. They hold this cover on. Oh. That's what they do. Okay. So that's, that's all there is to jig grinder, man. There ain't nothing to it. I mean, I'm a jig grinder hand. I don't know anything about it. 
What do you think? I know nothing about it. <laughs> well, I think I think you're. I do now. I think you're smart enough. To, we can hire you as a jig grinder hand. So I think we can put you to work. Getting all jiggy with it. Yeah. So <laughs> I think in the next video we'll just have Glenn run to the machine. What do you think, Jim? He dive, he dive. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, maybe, maybe we want to reconsider Up that. Up periscope. <laughs> no, let's just forget it. Uh, hey. I'm going to be late tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I like your shirt today. That's a lot better. Than, thank you. Remember the last shirt he had on, Jim? Yeah. It was a oh, joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. That's my story about me learning about a jig grinder. And I learned more by explaining it to somebody than I did by just trying to figure it out on my own. So there you have it. And Thanks for watching. Continue to subscribe, tell your friends about us, and see you on the next YouTube adventure.